Rage from developers id Software, famed creators of the Doom and Quake franchises, is looking to take you on a post-apocalyptic adventure. T minus 100. Yes, another one. Roger, Atlas Control, this is 1134. Check for green. Arc Lodge protocol initiated. When an asteroid heads towards Earth, the Ark Project is initiated. Nanotrite injection. Select humans, that'll be you, are stored cryogenically underground. You awake years later, alone with a whole new world to discover. And what a world it is! One of the first things that strikes you is just how epic, beautiful and varied it is. The new id Tech 5 engine powering this and id's environment designers both deserve awards. Hey, you! Over here! In terms of gameplay, it's all really about you asserting your place in this new, and we have to say, pretty cool and exciting world. It ain't safe here. Well, I guess you don't know anything about any of this. <laughs> Welcome to the future. Hold on. Got bandits. We all know there are a host of hostile factions to battle. And some Mad Max style vehicles to get about it. But how does it all hang together? Well, similar to many other games, characters that you meet present you with missions. Dura Daga here. Hey, buddy. Dan said you were taking that old buggy off my hands will fix up a new buggy if you search out the parts needed. The Mayor of Wellsprings sets numerous missions, including finding out what bandits are doing mining in a northern crater. And rumor has it they're refining pure feltrite. There he is! On top of the main story missions, there's a host of side missions, some of which can be picked up from the notice board in the town of Well Springs, like this missing person's job. I see him! Didn't think it would end well. Sally the Barkeep rewards you every time you take out some bandits in the wasteland. Everyone hates bandits. Every bandit car you destroy in the wasteland, I'll reward you. So far, so samey. Well, what differentiates Rage is not what's in it, but to some extent, what's not in it. It doesn't have a traditional RPG level-up system. No, instead, upgrades, new kit and abilities are earned more intuitively. Either by buying them, which is where the side missions help, they're the quickest way to earn cash, or by being awarded them for completing missions. An example, here's what we had to do to get the upgrade for our nano defibrillation system. It speeds up recovery when injured. Interesting. You got all those little computers racing around inside you. We had to go to the desolate and unmapped Dead City Central area and find the hospital. Easy. Uh, did I mention the hundreds of killer mutants to get past? No? Oops. Boy, did we feel a sense of achievement when we got our hands on the defib. Lazier types can play the game differently and try to gamble their way into credit. You can join a game of tombstones, roll the dice and try your luck against holographic mutants. On top of this, you also collect cards along the way, which you use in this excellent Pokemon meets Top Trumps game. More difficult way to earn cash dollars, practice is needed. Next time, maybe you'll win. There's a lot of stuff to buy with your earnings. One of the key things is better ammo. But if you don't want to pay for items, you can also create some yourself using blueprints and materials you collect. Remote control buggy bomb, anyone? In fact, collecting and trading is a key and enjoyable part of the game. And then come the vehicles. Oh, yes! Many of the quests involve travelling, and these make that really fun. 
expect vehicle battles wherever you go to, so getting a good set of wheels is key. Early on, you get a basic quad and a buggy cobbled together with parts you find. Throughout the game, you'll need to earn upgrades and better vehicles, and you'll do this in part by racing to earn driving certificates. Hello, massive new gameplay section. Some races need sponsors. JK Styles agreed to sponsor me if I appeared in his TV reality show, TV Bash. Oh dear. You want a sponsorship, and I need a contestant. What about multiplayer? Well, this comes in two flavors. Firstly, there's additional co op challenges based on characters' backstories that are playable either online or offline split screen. In this one, you have to infiltrate a prison to shut down a gearhead drilling operation. Billy No Mates can play these alone, but they're tough without a partner. Then there's a bunch of competitive multiplayer modes based around driving. For example, six opponents will battle it out in arena-based rallies where players must collect meteor shards. So the verdict on Rage then. In a nutshell, it blew us away. The balance of shooting and driving is just right. It's an astonishingly well-realized world that had us genuinely scared at times. Missions are brilliantly varied, and the decision not to bog gameplay down with another XP level-up system could have misfired, but instead proves to be inspired. It have really thought about how to let the player earn rewards in ways that are entirely in keeping with the world that they've created. The result is a massively engaging, intuitive, living and breathing world. We hope this is a start to an exciting new franchise and can't wait to get our hands on the DLC. 9 out of 10.